Hey guys, today we're making this gorgeous Tres Leches cake. It's a light vanilla sponge cake soaked in a milk bath and topped with fresh whipped cream. It's soft and creamy and delicious, and it's the perfect summer cake. So to make tres leches, we need a sponge cake base, which is slightly different than my other sponge cakes, and I'll explain why as we go along. Like any sponge cake though, we do need to start by whipping the eggs, in this case egg whites. I've added half a teaspoon of vinegar to stabilize the eggs, but you can also add lemon juice or cream of tartar. To give structure to our meringue, we're going to add the sugar one tablespoon at a time and continue mixing until you get stiff peaks. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Set the meringue aside for a moment and in this other bowl, I have the egg yolks with vanilla and I'm going to add the milk. Now what makes a sponge cake different than the other ones that I've shown you in the past is that this recipe contains no butter or oil. The reason behind this is because we're going to soak this cake entirely in milk, we want this cake to keep somewhat of its structure. If we add the butter or oil, the cake will be too soft, and once we add the three milks, it would just become soggy and fall apart. This is also the reason why we're using a sponge cake base for this recipe and not a butter cake. I've added the dry ingredients. Careful to not overmix the flour. As soon as it's incorporated, stop mixing. You're going to fold into this cake batter two to three big dollops of the meringue. This will help loosen the batter. And I wanted to show you guys how you can be quite aggressive with these first spoonfuls. Don't be afraid to mix these in. However, when you add the remaining egg whites, this is where you want to be careful. Fold these in gently. That way your cake batter doesn't lose too much air. We are going to pour this into a pan buttered, floured, and lined with parchment paper. You can use a round cake pan if you prefer. However, tres leches is usually a square or rectangular cake. Details, just details. Bake it off in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for around 25 minutes. Do the toothpick test. If it comes out clean, the cake is ready. As the cake cools, it will pull away from the sides and deflate a little bit, which is perfect because we don't want domed cakes. Turn this over onto a rack and let this cool completely. Okay, so while the cake is cooling, we're going to make the bath for our cake. Now, one of the milks that people like to use is evaporated milk. I prefer to use heavy cream because since the cake has no fat, the heavy cream adds this amazing subtle richness that really takes this cake to another level. The other milks remain the same. We have sweetened condensed milk and just plain milk. Now these are the ratios that I like to use. As you can see, I don't use a lot of sweetened condensed milk because I don't like overly sweet cakes. I find this is the perfect combination and ratio. However, if you want your milk mixture to be sweeter, by all means, add more sweetened condensed milk. Give these a good mix and the bath is ready. Transfer the cake back into its pan. I like to leave the parchment paper as it's easier to take out and transfer onto a serving plate and using a fork or toothpick you're going to poke some holes into the cake pour your milk mixture onto your cake this is a lot of milk guys but the cake needs it this is why it's so important to use a sponge cake i have an entire video dedicated to cake science explaining the different types of cake so if you're interested i'll leave a link in the description box now this cake needs to sit for at least an hour it's going to absorb all that deliciousness soften and become so good now how long you leave the cake to soak depends on your texture preference as i said i like to leave it just an hour but some people like to make the cake the day before for the day after and leave the cake to soak overnight that's completely up to you whatever you decide to do though make sure you cover the cake well now in the same measuring cup that we used for the milk bath, I've added some heavy cream, some sugar and vanilla, and we're going to whip the cream up to medium stiff peaks. We're going to cover the cake entirely in this cream. It's going to be fabulous. The first time I heard of tres leches, I really thought there was too much sweetness, too much milk going on, but no, no, it's 
heavenly, especially if you use the ratios I'm giving you. Smooth out the top of the cake or make any decoration you like. And I do also like to trim the sides, especially if you're making this cake and serving it for a special occasion. But again, this is optional. The sides are just as delicious and just as soft as the entire cake. Can we just take a moment and look at the knife, how it just glides right through the cake. This cake is so incredibly soft. Cut the cake into squares and this is ready to serve. This lechos is usually served with cherries or even better, you know, since it's summer, any fresh fruit would be so delicious here. If you're looking for the perfect summer cake, this is definitely it. It's simple, easy to make and light, but at the same time, so creamy and absolutely delicious. If you've never had Tres Leches cake, the best way to describe its texture is melt in your mouth soft, almost a creamy-like texture, very reminiscent of Italian tiramisu, minus the coffee. It's amazing.